What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and we may have some news coming on later. Gonna depend on the time that the news is released of course, I'll get into that in just a moment but today man, we have some brand new WWE Elite action figure reveals slash images that I'm very excited about. I think it's gonna be insane. I can't wait to discuss them with you man. I'm not gonna you know, harp on it any longer man. Let's go ahead and dive into these action figures man. WWE Elite Series 101 is not only getting pictures here but we should have them in hand by this weekend so if you guys are the first pre-order they should be at your door within the next three days i'm of course going out of town so i won't have these in hand until i get back and i will not be able to post a new review until monday morning so monday morning look out for some elite reviews and i'm sure some royal rumble content of some sort probably going to review the show at a later date since i'll be there i won't be able to post up a, a royal rumble review that night but i should be able to when I return. So, getting into it first, man, we are looking at WWE Elite Series 101 Cody Rhodes. This figure, I have mixed feelings about it, but at the same time, I'm very excited about it. I, I think that overall, it looks fantastic. I love the formula. I think the formula is perfect. I Looking at through these images, man, I think the figure looks so damn good. I, I love the, the arms. I like the chest. I mean, dude, the, I know it's the classic Cody formula with double jointed arms and updated boots, right? It's like the Drew McIntyre Heath Slater boots. He's got, you know, his weight belt on there. I know the weight belt is not accurate. It's a little bit too oversized as well, so it doesn't have the buckle, but this is the same gear that his Supreme figure has, so that will be very interesting to get those in hand. Compare the two figures. Figures, that's going to be crazy. You know, I know that this is an elite, so this is going to be what? I, I guess if you get it brand new on ringside, it's going to be like 27 28 bucks, and then you add shipping and all that different stuff. But when you compare it to a retail price, when this hits retail, it's going to be what? 22 23 bucks, depending on where you grab it. And then you compare that to a Supreme, which is like, what, 42 bucks? That's kind of insane. So not really completely accurate when you look at, you know, price points and things like that. However, being an elite figure, this looks fantastic. I love the gear. I think it looks super clean. I love the formula they went with. The arm size looks good. Tattoo looks good. However... The head sculpt is not my favorite. You know, I don't think it's a bad head sculpt, but it's not great. I like the hair color with the blonde. The sculpt of the hair is nice. The likeness to Cody is not spot on, but it's decent. I think it's decent enough. I can't wait for more head sculpts. You know, his ultimate edition that should be coming in the next, like, three to four months, I would imagine. The Mattel Creations one. Can't wait for that one. That one's going to be epic, but I imagine that figure is probably going to have better head sculpts. This one is a, a bit hit or miss. You know, I, I don't know. I don't hate it. I think it's okay. I just don't think it's perfection. I think they can definitely improve on it, and maybe you could put some Supreme head sculpts on here or some unrivaled head sculpts on here to uh, kind of, you know, get the likeness better, but one thing that I'm not very keen on, man, is look at this neck tattoo, man. Look at the neck tattoo on this figure. If you guys zoom in there half of the tattoo is like on like under his ear right there and on his jawline which is accurate to a certain extent however this came up when the figure was first shown off I remember talking about it on social media I was like you know there's ways there's levels to this you know like is it completely perfect accuracy Maybe, but that would be if this was a statue. If this was a statue, it would be perfect, right? When you're talking about an action figure and the, the head that is going to move and articulate, when you turn his head all the way to the left, there is going to be like some jaggedness on his jaw just sitting there. And then what? I don't know if the tattoo cuts off or not. So I don't know if underneath the head sculpt right there, like his jaw flap or his neck flap right there that goes over the peg and it covers a little bit of the neck on the torso. If you move the head and the, the tattoo is just cut off, that's going to be horrendous, man. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you could just acetone this off of the face and then you'll get a full neck tattoo. I think that AEW and Jazzwares did it correctly when they did his tattoo. Too, I think because if you look at the back shot of the figure you guys can see what I'm talking about It's like the back of his neck He's turned all the way to the right and it looks like he has like a statue of Liberty just growing out of the bottom of his jaw So it's not really about total accuracy in this case I think it's just bad design choice because some things you should make accurate some things you should change to help the aesthetic of the design If this was a statue then it would be cool that the elite has perfect tattoo placement But when you move the head there will be a small mark on Cody's jaw but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Maybe we can fix it and, you know, fix it up and stuff like that. However, figure does look brilliant. I'm actually really excited for it anyways, and I'm, I'm just hyped for it. You know, I think that we can fix these things up. I hope that it's not a huge issue when we get it in hand, but... 
I'm excited for it, even though the weight belt's inaccurate. You know, maybe you can put the Jazzwares one on there or something. And I can't wait to put his Ultimate Coat on here from the Ultimate Edition as well. That'll be fun. But, oh yeah, I, I forgot this. If you look at the Cody Rhodes packaging, on the front, it says the America Nightmare Cody Rhodes instead of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. So I thought that was kind of funny. For some reason, just seeing that on the packaging makes me just want to start a men on card Cody Rhodes figure collection. I don't know, just something I thought about. Nonetheless, getting into Mr. America, we have the regular version and the chase version. Version. And the Chase version, I think, has the double stripes, and he also has a different mask. So the American flag style mask is the Chase version, and the regular version is going to be the like the Captain America, just like the blue mask with the white star. That is the regular version, and then you have the Chase variant version with the American flag. I think both of them look good, you know. I like the cloth goods, you know, it's the same same weight belt, same boa. You know, brand new head sculpts. I think the boots look great. They are doing that dumb torso and tan and everything on this figure, even though it should be a different torso and tan. You know, they said that in in 2023, they are going to give us a brand new Hulk Hogan torso with the tan and, like, update everything so it's fixed. However, it would have been nice to get that on this, but both Miss Americas look pretty good. I You know, I like them. They're outside the box. We're going to continue to get Hogan's. This year, we'll probably get 10 more Hogan's plus, so be on the lookout for those. But those are the Miss Americas. You know, I hate the formula, but overall, some of the designs design choices and like the colors and the head sculpts are pretty nice so you know I'll, I'll be all in on that next up is elite 101 kevin owens my boy kevin owens here man i'm so excited but this figure's head sculpt is not it, man. What are these eyes doing right here, man? I think his last two Elites had better head sculpts than this, especially the Elite 90. The Elite 90 is a much better head sculpt. I, for one, will be popping this head sculpt off and putting the Elite 90 on there. He just looks kind of derpy here. You know, I love the beard. The beard looks good. The hair looks good. But the eyes just look so wild to me. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, I, I'm not a big fan of that head sculpt. But he does have the interchangeable one, so I'll have to definitely get a couple of these for the bald cap head sculpt and stuff and you know have one of those on the shelf but he has the Austin 316 shirt even though it's not accurate to you know exactly what he wore with the bald cap maybe you can make an easy custom you guys know I made bald Owens before this figure related like I think it was a year ago I made that but that bald head sculpt looks fantastic and he's also wearing his KO Mania 6 shirt where he took on Austin he's got the Austin and the KO on the shirt, and then it even has the graphic on the back. It's basically a repaint of his other figures. It's a repaint of Elite 90 with a worse head sculpt, in my opinion, but I'm a huge KO fan, and I am definitely grabbing this. Can't wait. And it's updated tattoos and double-jointed arms on black arm tape. So that's very nice. I'm actually happy for that. So now you don't have to worry about the white tape from the last Elite. You can get updated arms with black tape, so now you can make different fix-ups that way. Next up in the set is going to be Johnny Gargano. I didn't mean Johnny Gargano. I'm just thinking about the Ricochet having Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Speaking of which, this Ricochet figure looks fantastic except for the fact that he has Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Johnny Gargano Syndrome is something I did not expect in 2023, Brad. Didn't expect it. Didn't see it coming. I love the torso choice. I'm glad that we're finally getting Ricochet with double-jointed arms. I think these legs, you know, I think there's a few figures you could probably switch the lower legs and kick pads with to make him, you know, more accurate, not have Johnny Gargano Syndrome. If you guys are wondering what Johnny Gargano Syndrome is, it is a term that I brought up when uh, when figures come with short kick pads that are not accurate and they look like weird boots. And the reason it's called Johnny Gargano Syndrome is because it started with a Johnny Gargano Elite. That's where this started. That's what that is right there. That is Johnny Gargano Syndrome. But this Ricochet looks great. I like the head sculpt. It comes with an updated IC title. I think he's had better head sculpts, so I may switch it, but I like the gear. I don't like the short kick pads. They look awful. I can fix that, though. Uh, you know, we'll play around with this. We'll definitely put him in surgery, but I'm excited for the Ricochet. I like the Ricochet figure. I just hate Johnny Gargano Syndrome right there. We're gonna have to fix that, but I like the figure overall, and we get, a, we get a, another IC title, which is great. Next up in the set is going to be Johnny Knoxville, and this figure is fantastic, man. You got all kinds of bells and whistles going on here. The only thing that I don't like is that they literally re- I mean, I, it's not that I don't like it. It's just nuts. They retooled a full action figure, man. Head to toe, except for the shoes that are a decade mold. They're a decade old. That mold they use for these shoes is a decade old. Decade plus, I think now. Easily a decade plus. But everything else on this figure is newly sculpted. You're talking about a new torso, new arms, elbow pads. Like, maybe the crotch isn't, but fantastic looking figure. You know, I didn't think we'd get a Johnny Knoxville action figure, but here we are. I mean, we have Johnny Knoxville, Rob Gronkowski, Logan Paul coming. I mean, lots of different guys getting action figures you wouldn't expect. But this uh, this figure's formula is great. I, I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks just like Johnny Knoxville. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Watching Jackass way back on, in the day when it first released ever, never thought in a million years we'd have a full-fleshed-out WWE action figure Johnny Knoxville 
Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. But he comes with his cape. He's got his, his goggles. I mean, a fantastic looking figure. Just truly looks just like him. I mean, it's honestly ridiculous. And the formula is great. I hope he poses around well. I hope he has good articulation. Hate the shoe mold, though. God in heaven, bro. Goal for 2023. Get rid of this shoe mold, please. And then last but not least, diving into the last figure, we have Sonya Deville. This figure looks fantastic. Head to toe. She just took an L on Monday Night Raw the other night to Bianca Belair. But this figure looks fantastic from head to toe. One of the best women's figures of the year by far. Like, the head sculpt's perfect. The proportions are perfect. The formula's perfect. The double jointed arms look good. The gloved hands. Cloth goods. This is a damn good women's figure. And I like Sonya Deville, so this figure is going to be nice. It's going to fit perfect right in with the women's collection. I like this figure a lot. I like, I like how it looks glossy as well. I think they did a fantastic job on this. I... I'm actually very excited for the Sonya Deville figure. But that is our full WWE Elite Series 101 wave, man. Again, these should be at your door. If you pre-ordered them, they should be at your door very soon. And I can't wait, wait to review them, man. Some of these guys are going to be potentially, potentially going to be in the top 10 figures of 2023. We'll have to see about that at the end of the year. But that is going to wrap up the news video. Lots of Royal Rumble content coming. Again, I am going to be at the Royal Rumble. If you guys are going to be there, be on the lookout. But that is going to wrap up our news video. Also today, apparently Legends Series 19 will be announced. I don't know if we know if it's going to be images, but I think it's going to be the full wave announced. And if I am not, un if I'm unable to make a video about it, maybe I can go live or something like that on YouTube or something with my phone and just do like a quick live stream breaking down the lineup and kind of explaining it to you guys and you know we can break all that down however that is going to wrap up the news video guys thank you guys so very much for watching thank you guys stay tuned to the channel turn on your bell so you don't miss any uploads follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys I'm getting the hell out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and thank you very much